Interest rates continue to be historically low. Amber Carlton, a real estate agent at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Premier Properties, and Angie Searles, a mortgage lender at Valley Mortgage, are here to talk about what that means for you. Welcome to the show, ladies. How's it going today? Thank you. Good. good. That's good to hear. So, Amber, we'll start with you. People talk about the interest rates, well, really all the time. So can you give us an update at where they're sitting right now? Absolutely. Right now we are in the mid twos, so anywhere from 2.3 to 2.8. Of course, that's going to have many factors depending on your situation personally, credit score, all of that jazz. Um, but looking back in history in the 1980s, they were at 18%. And most recently we've seen threes and fours. But Angie's going to talk a little bit more about how that actually equates to your monthly payments and how much you could save. Yeah, so Angie, let's go over to you. How do those low interest rates impact your buying power? Yeah, so for example, when rates were in the mid fours, which really wasn't that long ago, the cost to borrow was about $5 per thousand or $500 per hundred thousand. So if you're looking at a $200,000 loan amount, your principal and interest payment would be about $1,000 per month. Now with rates dipping into the mid twos, that factor drops to $4 per thousand or $400 per hundred thousand. This means that all things being equal, your taxes and insurance, the, you can borrow 250,000 with a thousand dollar principal and interest payment. So if your taxes and insurance are the same, you can potentially spend $50,000 more on a property with a 2% change in the interest rate. Now as rates increase, unfortunately that buying power decreases. Well, now that you've convinced us all that it's the time to buy with those low rates, Amber, in your experience, does having a local lender give buyers any advantage? It absolutely can. And especially right now with the low inventory in our market, you're going to want to have that pre-approval ready to go when you get out there and looking. And having that local lender does give you an advantage. As realtors in our area have worked with them before, they know that their word um, means something. They know they can get the job done. Your local lender is going to be a little bit easier to get a hold of. Um, you can just call their cell most of the time when you want an estimate on pricing. Um, and also, they are outstanding about, um, you know, I lost my train of thought, but I'll come back to it. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. And so, Angie, if someone is happy with the home that they're currently in, why should they maybe look into refinancing? It's a great question. If you plan on being in your home for the foreseeable future, and your rate is 3.5% or higher, I definitely want to visit and do an evaluation to see how much you can save not only on a monthly basis, but over the course of 30 years. So let's say, for example, on a $200,000 loan amount, a 1% rate reduction can save you as much as $34,000 over 30 years. Now, you definitely want to talk to Amber first, though, because what we're finding is that she can sell your house at top dollar, so you may have more equity in your property than you realize. So you may be better off taking that equity putting five or 10% down on the purchase of a new house and using the remaining equity to pay off all your additional debts like car loans, student loans, credit cards. And you may come out ahead with a lower total monthly liability. And so now that uh, we are all deciding that we either want to buy a new house or refinance, how do we get in touch with the both of you? Where should we look? Absolutely. So I'm Amber Carlton. My cell phone is 701-640-8326. Or you can find me online, Amber Doc Realtor. I am Valley Mortgages locally and independently owned right here in the Valley. You can find me at valleymortgageinc.com. All right, our two favorite ladies, the real estate pros here on North Dakota Today. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up here on today's show, Dr. Sauer is back, letting us know why diets do not work. I know, crazy to hear. We'll have more on that.